Have you ever wondered what happens if a regular vacuum sucks up water? I know they have wet dry vacs, but all those things have floats that cut off the uh, air to the motor whenever the water gets too high. Uh, we have a Eureka bagless vacuum that basically doesn't function very well. So I'm going to fill a bucket with water and we're going to plug in the vacuum and see what happens when a regular vacuum sucks up water. Oh, maybe this will be fun. Maybe it'll blow up. I don't know. All right, here's our Eureka. Claims to be better than a Dyson. We're gonna take the hose, put it in there. We have to turn this little dial from the floors over to the tool. Now, power plug. Come over here, plug it in. Oh, well, that is unfortunate. No way. What? Why? I'm not sure Alright, had to pause it there so I can put it together. I'll have to probably edit that out. I'll come over here. Hit the power button. Alright, now when I plug in that yellow wire, hopefully this fills up. Alright, here we go. Chloe, move. Chloe, move. Because of all the bubbles, I decided to empty out the water and try again when I found the bottom has a massive crack in it. I'm like, well, no wonder this vacuum sucks. I mean, broke it. Well, I'm going to have to figure out something else. Alright, for some weird reason, I could not find any of my Gorilla Glue based uh, duct tape. So, here is some frog masking tape that was left over from one of our painting projects. It's all the way around. Let's see if this helps. So what I figured out now, one of the reasons it wasn't working well for us is the hole in the bottom, which I've now patched up with green tape, and then in the video I should have shown you some bubbles. It's another seal that has gone bad. This right here is another filter. It's a very pliable rubber surround that's supposed to seat itself really well to this molded piece of plastic. Real easy to remove. Really easy to clean. I think that might be one of the downfalls of this particular product. So I've cleaned it all up and we're going to try again. Now if that doesn't work, then I'm going to try and tape all this up again.
All right, what's happened is the water is going through that filter at the top. It is going down the back into the motor at the bottom, and you can see it popping out down there at the bottom. That means it's actually getting pumped by the motor. Well, it's, it's actually it's picking up speed, and now it's slowed down. I'm actually surprised the motor's still going. I would have thought by now it would have completely fried because of the water. Huh.